Install and configure Retail Modern POS. In this module, we will be discussing regarding the following components used in setting up Modern POS. Enable Enterprise Side Loading. Enable Loopback Exemption. Install and configure Modern POS. Device Activation. Enable Enterprise Side Loading. Demonstration. In this demo, we will look at the steps to enable enterprise side loading. Press Windows R to launch the run menu. Type gpedit.msc to open the group policy editor. In the group policy console, navigate to local computer policy, computer configuration, administrative templates, windows components, app package deployment. Double click to open the allow all trusted apps to install option in the right hand section. Set the policy to enabled and click OK to apply. Enable loopback exemption demonstration. In this demo, we will look into the steps to enable loopback exemption. If modern POS and retail server are running on the same computer, or if either of these is running in a VM on the same host computer as the other component, loopback exemption will be required. Open a command prompt as an administrator and type the following checknet isolation dot exe loopback exempt hyphen a hyphen p equals here you have to provide mpos app id this command will exit with an ok in all cases so be sure to copy and execute this command correctly Device activation for modern POS demonstration. In this demo, we will look into device activation for modern POS. Device activation is a security measure built into modern POS to allow only authenticated instances of modern POS to work with retail server. Before device activation for modern POS can be performed, the corresponding channel must first be published. In case you are connecting modern POS to a retail server on different computers, you will need to enable firewalls on both computers, that is the computer running modern POS as well as the computer running retail server. Launch Dynamics AX. Click Retail Setup Devices. On the devices form, you will need to verify that the following exist. Please note, each instance of modern POS app needs a unique record in this form. Device ID should be Houston 3. Application. Verify the type of app to authenticate. Here select modern POS for Windows. Description. A description to help to recognize the device. Here you will verify Houston Register 3. Register Number Verify that Houston 3 is the register being used. Each register can be associated to multiple instances of modern POS. Activation Status Be sure to set the activation status as pending. Launch Modern POS When you first launch Modern POS, you will see this configuration screen. Enter the configurations. Service URL. Enter the URL of the retail server that you will be connecting to.
device number enter a valid device id from the devices form in dynamics ax which you have configured in the previous step register number enter the register number corresponding to the device that you wish to activate operator id enter an operator id for a worker who has manager pause permission group or has the manage devices permission enabled password enter the corresponding worker's password click activate in dynamics ax on the devices form confirm that the device shows as activated On the Modern Pass app, login with the credentials mentioned above. Set up and configure Modern Pass demonstration. In this demo, we will look into the steps to install and configure modern pos windows server 2012 r2 does not ship with winjs and vc libraries which are prerequisites for deploying modern pos if you wish to deploy modern pos on windows server 2012 r2 perform the following additional steps download vs express from the following link and install it copy and paste the following packages and create necessary folders for vc libs navigate to c program files x86 microsoft sdk's windows v8.0 extension sdk's microsoft vc libs 11.0 apex retail x64 and copy Microsoft VC Libs x64 11.00 Apex. Navigate to C Program Files x86 Microsoft Dynamics AX 60 and create the folders Retail Modern POS. And then dependencies. And then x64 and paste the copied Microsoft VC Libs x64.11.00.apex. For WinJS, navigate to C Program Files x86 Microsoft Dynamics AX 60 and create the folders Windows Server 2012 R2 Extension-SDKs-Microsoft-WinJS-1.0 1.0 and copy Microsoft WinJS 1.0.apex then navigate to C program files x86 Microsoft Dynamics AX 60 retail modern pause dependencies and paste the copied Microsoft WinJS 1.0apex here Launch PowerShell in administrative mode. And run the following two commands. First, add hyphen apex package.
and copy the path of Microsoft WinJS 1.0 Apex. Then the next command add apex package and copy the path of Microsoft VC Libs x64 11.0 apex. After this step, we will continue on to the standard installation with the remaining steps for both server and client editions of Windows. Open Dynamics AX Setup and select Install Microsoft Dynamics AX Components. Click Next. Keep the selection of Add or modify components and click next. On the add or modify components page under retail components select retail modern pause and then click next. On the prerequisite validation page verify that all prerequisites are met and then click next. On the file extraction page verify that the configure Retail Modern Pause checkbox is marked and click Next to continue. On the prerequisite validation page, verify that all prerequisites have been met and then click Next. On the Ready to Install page, click Install. Click Finish to close the installer. In this module, we discuss regarding the following components used in setting up modern pause. Enable enterprise side loading. Enable loopback exemption. Set up and configure modern pause. Device activation.